Greetings, my fellow gamers. It is I, Wraith King, bringing you news from beyond the mirror, from the other world. And today we will be reviewing finally. <laughs> oh, the awakened spike. Now, I'm going to try my best to translate his skills for you because I absolutely hate it when I don't know what a skill does in Seven Nights. And I'm pretty sure most of the English fans hate that as well. So I'm going to try my best to make an English translation for you in this video so you don't have to suffer and attempt to translate it yourself. Let's take a look at his first skill. Snowstorm true, cool down, 75 seconds. Inflicting 170% physical damage, physical damage to enemies twice three. Additionally, through the effects it is applied. See that, did that make too much sense to you? I, I don't think that made much sense to me. I, I'm just saying, I, I'm just saying now. That really didn't seem to make any sense to me. This is why I don't use, I know I said this before, but this is why I don't use this app for my videos, because it sucks. Like, where did the other physical damage come from? Well, where did the other one come from? Why did it say physical damage twice? Why? 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 By far the weirdest app ever. Let's see what his second ability does. Earthquakes in cold weather. Cool down. 80 seconds. 2 T on can give effect to freeze 110% physical damage to all enemy ATK by mouth twice. Causing a high probability of damage and inflicting 200% after effects. I think you guys are starting to understand why I don't use this app for my review. Yeah, it doesn't look like they changed the animation in that one too much. Let's take a look at his awakened skill, but before we do, let's suffer through the translation. Determination of memories, awakening use skill. Inflicting damage of the captive through 2000 by which the effect is applied to the entire enemy. Twice given a further 2 Tion Gen freezing effect and the end of the effect. Inflicting damage to 300%. Now, I don't speak gibberish, but I think it deals 2,000 fixed damage. And it applies the freeze effect. And I think it's piercing. Man, that was cold, man. Sorry about the bad pun. I just couldn't resist. Anyways, I really do like Spike, especially his awakened form. I don't know if I'm gonna get him right now, because I don't know if I can really fit him on my team anywhere. But he's still a really cool character, and he's great, and this awakened form makes him even better. But please, if you know what's going on in the story, just don't tell me. I want to wait until the global version releases Spike so I can actually know what's going on. Uh, Spike Awaken. I, I want to wait until all the Awakened characters are released there before I find out what's going on. Because I don't really know. I haven't been following the story on the Korean version because, hey, I don't speak Korean. And translating, as you can see, is a pain for me. So I probably won't be doing any... Um, translations with the story with that app because it's just going to make things even more confusing for me so i'm just going to wait until the global version releases these characters but anyways we should take a look at his passive ability now should it burning be. ice heart unique passive allies are granted full immunity status over a three to tiongan in addition any damage to their immune and given tiongan four when wearing the damage currently more than life, and life as a single one survive. What? 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 This- Yeah, no one wants to hear me get angry about that right now. From what it looks like the AI is trying to say, it is a simple enhancement of his original passive unique. 
But I've been really wanting to do this for a while. What should we get for Spike weapon-wise and crystal-wise, accessory-wise? Well, for me, I would get most of my characters the death effect for the accessory because my team is based on the death status effect. But for Spike, you might want to get something for critical rate. And as for his weapons, also give him something for critical rate. And attack speed too. Why do I say critical rate? So much critical rate. What is with that? Spike increases the critical rate, correct? So if you have any items that increase that for him, it is going to dramatically increase his critical rate. Now, it should be almost guaranteed if you apply items to him that apply, well, critical rate. As for defensive items, get something for defense and max HP to work with the fact that he's a universal character. He will make a seriously great tank if you build items like that. But my overall opinion on this character is he is awesome! I really want to get him. He is really cool. I'm glad they awakened Spike. I had a feeling they were going to awaken him because a few of the characters' uh, portraits seem to be freezing up. Um, Tio and um, another one of the Nightcrawl, I keep forgetting his name, Cauldron I believe his name is. His portrait was all frosty before, it's not frosty anymore, and so was Tio's. His uh, portrait was all frosty, but um, it's not like that anymore, I wonder what happened. But as I said before, if there's something going on in the story, just don't tell me. Don't tell me that right now, okay? I don't want to know anything about that just yet. I want to wait until they release um, some information about the lore on the global version. But, um, one thing that's been bugging me, Netmarble, I love you, but... Can you please release the Awakened Rudy soon? Because we've all been waiting on him. <laughs> we've all been waiting on the Awakened Rudy for quite some time. And I, I like the fact that you released Spike, but I've been wanting to see an Awakened Rudy for quite some time. But anyways, that's all the time I got for this video. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And take it easy for me, alright? Bye.